Okay, so we're going to test another seacock here. Only this time, um, kind of being unfair, what I've got here is a uh, half inch uh, GPO3, which is a pultruded fiberglass board. I recommend it on my website for backing blocks. And there's one, one method that I offer is to uh, drill and tap the backing block if you're using uh, GPO3 or G10 in order uh, so that many boat owners have asked me how do I do this without putting any additional holes in my hull and uh, if, you, if you simply drill and tap the uh, backing block as I've done here we can see you know, these just turn freely uh, they're drilled and tapped into the fiberglass but this has caused quite a bit of stir from some uh, some people on the net wondering uh, if it's strong enough and so what I'm doing today I've, I've loaded this up and I had already you know I've tested this before and uh, but what I wanted to do is show just how strong on my website I recommend 5 8 G10 which is considerably stronger than this half inch this is GPO3 uh, these are quarter by 20 bolts in a three quarter inch Maryland Seacock now what I haven't done is I haven't put the through hole in, which would uh, be this piece here. And that's how it would be installed on the boat. So you'd have additional strength. But for this test, I just want to see if the uh, drilled and tapped bolts into the fiberglass backing plate, which is what this is simulating, uh, will meet the ABYC standard of, uh, of 500 pounds. And, uh, or if the seacock will fail first. So we're going to find out here in just a minute. And as you can see, um, my winch is down at the other end of the bench. This is the load cell. And uh, this is the digital uh, readout here. I am going to put it on peak hold. Uh, so that if it does fail, we know where it failed at. And for the ABYC test, you're supposed to be at the innermost hard piping. Uh, and apply 500 pounds of load and it needs to withstand it for 30 seconds. So we're gonna we're gonna load this up and see what happens. Okay, so there we are. I'm going to take it off peak hold because uh, that was actually our peak. The line has got some stretch to it. I should be using a, a lower stretch line like a Dyneema, but this is just a double braid polyester I had kicking around. So let's, uh, let's take the actual up to the uh, 500 pounds and see what fails first here. Uh, this is actual. Whoa, here we go. So there we have our answer uh, for all the people on the internet uh, wondering if drilling and tapping the backing block was stronger than, uh, than the seacock. And here we have a Maryland seacock. It did hit 500 pounds, uh, but it certainly didn't do it for the 30 seconds that we were looking for. And as you can see, uh, none of the screws, or the tab, drilled and tap machine screws, quarter by 20, uh, none of them pulled out of the G GPO3 fiberglass board at all. Uh, so, drilling and tapping the seacock to the hull, uh, if you're using Marilyn seacocks, uh, can certainly be stronger than, uh, than, the, than the seacock. Or the, the, yeah, stronger than the seacock. So there we have it, we know the answer, we know where it failed. Because we 